ancient jellyfish, armored arthropods, and spiny mud dragons. These are just a few of the ancient animals that were recently found at a new fossil site in China. This is one of those stories where scientists weren't actually looking for a new dig site, but they found one anyway. So a group of paleontologists at a site in southern China were looking at rocks from the Cambrian period. And they, uh, it was a nice day, and they were looking for someplace nice to have lunch. So they walked over to a river and they sat down to have lunch there. And they noticed that some of the rocks in the banks of the river had this strange pattern, sort of alternating darker gray and light gray stripes. And that's actually a very distinctive pattern in rocks that suggests that millions and millions of years ago, there were ancient mudslides that may potentially have buried ancient creatures and preserved them as fossils. So the paleontologists were very excited about this. So they checked the rocks and sure enough, after just a little bit of digging, they found some of the first of what turned out to be hundreds of creatures from the Cambrian about 518 million years ago. The Cambrian period was a period of incredible diversity where all different weird kinds of animal life just exploded all over the place. And a lot of them were these marine creatures that had very soft bodies. So most of them do not preserve well in the fossil record because soft tissue tends to decay very quickly. But in some cases, like at this new site, what happens is when there's a mudslide that buries fossils quickly and then they get buried even further under sandy sediments, that sort of creates a cement shield so that the microbes that normally would cause the animal to decay can't get in there. And so the soft tissues are actually preserved in stone. And the fossils at this new site were preserved in incredible detail. There are eyes, there are gills, there are preserved digestive tracts. The detail is absolutely amazing. Now, there are other sites where there are just vast deposits of Cambrian fossils that are also very well preserved and have a lot of anatomical detail, but the preservation detail in this new site is unprecedented. And the paleontologists who discovered and described these new fossils, they think it's because in other places where Cambrian fossils were found, there were geologic processes that were happening that probably distorted the fossils a little, like the formation of mountains or groundwater flowing over millions and millions of years. But this new site in China was relatively undisturbed. So half a billion years after these fossils were buried, their body shapes are still pretty similar to what they looked like when they died, which is kind of amazing. They've identified about a hundred or so species, and of those, more than half are species that are completely unknown to science. And something else that's interesting about this site, there were a lot of jellyfish fossils, adult jellyfish and larvae and juveniles, and this actually paints a whole new picture of what life may have been like during the early Cambrian. And this could change the way the paleontologists look at the way that life developed at the beginning of the biggest boom of diversity in animal life.